who doesn't love to party? But what if it's at your house and you've got to clean up all those stains? How do you avert disaster? Well, luckily, we have Susie Quailu live with us right now. And Susie, how do we throw a party and not be stressed? Well, you know, everybody is always stressed. I think people just like to be. And so all you can do is reduce the stress. I don't think you can get rid of it completely. But what I like to do is I like to look at it in two sort of different ways. I like to look at the aesthetics of the party, which is the decor, the beauty, um, how you're gonna, how the place is gonna look, the color palette. And then I like to look at the practical aspects. What if I have a clogged sink? What if I get stains on the carpet? You know, all the various things that can happen. So I like to look at it both ways, and I was going to give you some tips today to help you with both of those stress, stresses that people come up, come up against. Well, Susie, we love tips. We love to be in the know. So let's segue right into our show and tell segment. What do you have for us? Okay, so first of all, when it comes to decor, I like to pick a two-tone color palette or a simple color palette. I also think you should ask friends to bring appetizers. It makes it a little more stress-free, but if you're gonna have them bring appetizers, have them bring something that's along the food theme or style of your party. So if it's Mexican, have them bring chips and salsa, guacamole. If it's Greek, have them bring hummus and pita chips. Um, it's really kind of disconcerting when you go to a party and there's so many different flavors and different things and you come away, you've got sushi over here, you've got Greek over there, unless the party is international flair. So uh, you don't want to come away with a stomach ache. Now, as far as the practical aspects, let me show you a few products that you have to have on hand. First of all, I've had a clogged sink twice already at big parties, so now I keep Liquid Plumber Double Impact Steak and Gel System on hand. And this is great. It's like having a professional plumber in your kitchen. It's a great do-it-yourself way to just knock out all of those clogs and save money at the same time. Um, another product that I use and I've grown up with, we all know Clorox, but a lot of people don't know how to use it for their stains. So Clorox has come up with um, some tips and tricks. You can go to Dr. Laundry on the Clorox website and you can download the free My Stain application. And that application will tell you how to use Clorox for those pesky stains like red wine, pumpkin pie, eggnog, all those things that you get on your clothing or your, or your, um, or your upholstery. Now here is something really interesting. Everybody's into wine these days and everybody has multiple glasses on the table when they're entertaining. And you know, you hold up those wine glasses and you swirl around your wine and you go, what is that blue scum on there? What are those spots? So Cascade um, Complete Action Packs is also something that I found personally to be very successful. Now look at this, I don't know if you can see, but this is just another detergent. Um, and you can see the, the spots, and you can see the blue. And if you look at this one, it's very clear after just 15 cycles in hard water. So even if you have hard water, which is why you get these stains, after 15 cycles, look how clear and clean that is. So if it's a wine glass and you're swirling your wine, it's going to be much nicer um, to use something like this. So the final thing is, if you're after party, Clean up or cleaning up before the guests get there. Stanley Steamer is a great, great brand, and they'll come to your house and they'll clean your hardwood floors, your tile, your carpets. And um, if you use my name, Susie, and use that as the discount code on their website on stanleysteamer.com, you can actually receive $25 off. And this is a great um, gift. I mean, I've literally given this as a gift to people for after party cleanup or after holiday cleanup or sometimes even before holiday cleanup. So um, I think it's really a fun, interesting way to give a gift. So those are practical tips, decor tips, and hopefully will make your holiday season a little brighter and a little less stressful. Susie, A plus job well done. Thanks for the great ideas and happy holidays. Happy holidays to you too.